Tireless, committed, loyal, adventurous, unselfish, effective, and kind-hearted. These words describe two unique individuals, Darwin and Axie Heinemann. Because they both share each of these traits, it's not hard to understand why they were attracted to each other from the start, a blind date to the Stevens College Playhouse in 1958. We went to the play, and then she demanded to go back to her sorority house early. And she claimed, of course, that she didn't feel well. I had a cold. <laughs> but I decided I had a real challenge on my hand. And, but I was persistent and ended up with the prize. Had Darwin not been so persistent, Columbia might not be the same today. It's hard to overestimate the impact they've had on their chosen community in the 57 years since. One half of this shared story has its beginnings in Platte City, Missouri. Young Axie Anderson was the co-captain of her basketball team, the editor of the high school yearbook, president of the student council, and valedictorian. After enrolling at Mizzou as an education major, she would become president of the Kappa Alpha Theta sorority, a vice president of the Association of Women, and student host to Eleanor Roosevelt during the former First Lady's visit to the university in 1959. Darwin's early years were spent on Lathrop Road and on the Red Campus. As a matter of fact, Darwin likes to say he spent 20 years trying to graduate from the Red Campus. He was there from his kindergarten year through lab school graduation, four years of undergraduate work, and three years of law school. Darwin would enroll at Mizzou in 1951, majoring in political science. After graduating, he joined the Air Force and became a pilot stationed at Homestead Air Force Base in Florida. He served two tours of duty, one of which involved piloting a B-47 that carried an atomic payload from Florida to Morocco on several occasions, practicing for the day he might be called upon to continue from Morocco to Moscow. After his first tour of duty, he returned to Columbia in 1959 to enroll in MU's law school. It was during that year he met a blind date named Axie in his 1956 MG. It was a real surprise to me when we went out to his car because his car was like none I had ever seen and I did not appreciate it at all. It was a little box MG, a TF-1500. Which I never appreciated. Darwin opened a private practice and soon they were raising two children. Axie returned to MU for her master's degree in library science and soon after accepted a position as the science reference librarian at Ellis Library. Axie would go on to become the coordinator of computer based reference at Ellis and the coordinator for licensing for MU's library systems in Mobius. She would also become an active volunteer with the Girl Scouts, the League of Women Voters. Meals on Wheels, and as a PTA president. In 1995, and after the children had grown, Darwin decided to run for mayor, following a long and successful career in private practice. He would serve five terms for a total of 15 years, twice the length of service of any other previous Columbia mayor. His accomplishments during this period were many. He helped initiate the Columbia 2000 Visioning Committee and was instrumental in the efforts to obtain Stevens Lake Park, Flat Branch Park, and the John William Blind Boone Home. He pushed for the creation of a community recreation center and finally won that effort. Today, the Ark is considered to be one of the most appreciated jewels in the Parks and Recreation Crown of Jewels. Most famously, Darwin is considered to be the father of the Katy Trail, having formulated the idea and pushing the initiative that would convince city leaders to acquire the right of way to build the trail and heading the Katy Missouri River Trail Coalition, an effort to establish the now beloved trail. Darwin received national acclaim for obtaining a $22.5 million grant to make Columbia more bicycle and pedestrian friendly. He then worked to create bike paths alongside many of Columbia's major streets and boulevards. The results were admired and copied in towns and cities across the nation. Columbia now has some 15,000 bikers and the bike paths helped make Columbia one of the best places to live in the United States. When you're mayor, you have the bully pulpit, you preside over the council meetings, and you oftentimes get to set various kinds of agenda, push forward different ideas, but they can't occur without wonderful people getting involved. Throughout this time, Axie was continuing her work with local groups, such as the One Read program, and as co-chair of the fundraising effort to restore and renovate the exquisite and historically significant Missouri Theater. 
Darwin has since received recognition from the Robert Wood Johnson Leadership for Healthy Communities program, been inducted into the Missouri Parks and Recreation Hall of Fame, and has received many awards from his alma mater, including an honorary doctorate. Together, Darwin and Axie have been named the Women's League of Voters Citizen of the Year. Vicki Russell, former Columbia Tribune publisher, was quoted as saying that while Darwin was sometimes singled out for his work and accomplishments as mayor, Axie was there every step of the way, providing incredibly smart, far-sighted, and extraordinary organizing and leadership skills for her community. Sacrifice and leadership. Whether illustrated by Darwin famously drinking a glass of unfiltered water from Stevens Lake in front of television cameras, or Axie giving thousands of hours of time and leadership to Meals on Wheels, the League of Women Voters, and the Missouri Symphony Society. These two individuals have earned the lasting admiration and gratitude of their fellow citizens. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome into the Boone County Hall of Fame, Darwin and Axie Heinemann.